GPT OSS has just come out today. This is an open source release from AI. Uh, you can actually host it for free directly on your laptop. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it today and exactly what it means, how it works, etc. We'll test out as well, see if it's any good. So you can see the new announcement. This literally just came out five and a half hours ago, something like that. And OpenAI have said, we released two open weight reasoning models, GPT OSS 20B and GPT OSS 20B under an Apache 2.0 license developed with open source community feedback. These models deliver meaningful advancements in both reasoning capabilities and safety. So let's give it a cheeky now. If we click on that link, we can check it out. If you want all the notes from today and tons of other stuff, just check out the AR Profit Boardroom link in the comments description if you want to get access to that. We can also explore this on Hugging Face and you can also see this is released on Olama, right? So you can actually, and I'll show you exactly how to do this, but you can actually use this directly on Olama, host it for free along with tons of other models and it's really simple and easy to do. I'll come on to that later. Basically, these are two open source models that deliver strong well performance, blah, blah, blah. If you want to see the model card here, you can see all the details. So they've got a full white paper on this bad boy as well. And essentially, if we scroll down here, this is really interesting. So it says the model 120B model achieves near parity with OpenAI 40 Mini on core reasoning benchmarks, which is pretty impressive to be fair. And bear in mind, like most people were tired of paying for all these AI models and that sort of thing. Whereas for example, you can get access to this directly ai vmas says just ink he can't believe it no i can't believe you so if we keep scrolling down here i'm testing my spanish you can see it says gpt oss models perform comparably to our frontier models on internal safety benchmarks offering developers same safety standards etc obviously one of the biggest benefits i think a lot of people don't think about this right but one of the biggest benefits is that if you can help let's say a comparative model of gpt on your laptop the great thing about that is that it's local so you can just access it whenever you want you can access it offline and also it is private as well right because you're not sending any data to anyone else and so this is basically how it works we can run through the models here's some interesting information about it so you've got two different models here you got 120b and 20b right it take a lot more power on your laptop i'm on a macbook 3 so we can test it out see how it performs on a macbook it's a m pro right so we'll check that out and then we can see comparatively how it performs versus other models for competition go right so if you have a look at this obviously it is let's have a look here so we've got gpt os and gpt 120b all right so this is how they perform we've got humanity's last exam and how they perform here so if we have a look at this 120b is performing the best in terms of accuracy between the two models with tools without tools is performing slightly worse 120b is quite behind especially without tools and then if you compare this to o3 which is like one of the most powerful reasoning models then you know when you're checking this out obviously o3 is a lot better it's a lot more powerful but it's comparative right it's comparative for a local model so there we go ai mass says what type of business would you recommend for someone who works in it but wants to start generating yeah, so if you want to start your own business from scratch, you actually have a training model inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. And if you join the six-week masterclass here, new lessons coming out this week, we actually show the best ways to just get started. So if you want to know exactly how to get started, ASAP, step-by-step, -step, exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it with homework every single week, then check out the AI Profit Boardroom. So let's keep scrolling down here. Let's see what we got. I don't want to keep plugging the, the AI Profit. It plugs itself. So if we have a look here, Amy 2024 competition maths. So 04 Mini, which is very comparable, right? 98.7 versus 120B, which is 96.6. .6. And GPT OS 20B is performing at 96. So they're all very close, aren't they? This is not like a terrible model by any means that's coming out. And it's pretty exciting to be able to use this, right? So enough of the chit chat, let's get straight into business, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna download Olama, right? Now, again, if you want all the notes from today, it's inside their profit boarding, but essentially you can just download this. It is free. It's not gonna cost you any money. Don't comment saying it's not free, it is free, all right? And then once you've done that, go to models over here on the left, then you're gonna to go to GPTIS, right? And once you've actually set up, you've downloaded it and installed it, right? You're gonna go over to, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna press command and space, open up Olama, so make sure that's running in the background, right? And if you wanna know if that's running in the background, you can check the top right and there'll usually be an icon in the top right with a little picture of a llama. That's how easy it is. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we are now going to open up the terminal. All right, there we go. 
and we're just going to copy this code here. So it's as simple as this. Now, if we open this up, what we wanted to hear is let's scroll down here. If I can remember, it has been a while since he's open up. There we go. All right. So it's pulling that bad boy in, like you can see. Um, sometimes if you haven't updated for a while, you just need to download the latest version. All right. So you can see here, it recommends me downloading the latest version. No problem, mate. We'll go over here. We'll download that for Mac. OS. So you can select between loads and windows as well. Then once it's done, it's going to pop up in the top right. Let's wait for that to load. Here we go. There we go, sunshine. And then you'll see over here, we can just drag this bad boy in. All right. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to replace or keep both? I'm going to say replace. There we go. We will restart to update a llama. The new llamas come back in. And then if we grab that terminal command over here, let's go back into terminal. Hopefully it works this time. And there we go, sunshine. All right. Now it's going to take a little while here. You can see it's at 2% after a couple of seconds. So what we'll do is we shall just keep that window open in the background. All right. So we'll keep that running in the background. And then once it's done, we could check once it's done, all right? So you can see it's at 5% over there. And we've got that running. The other way that you can do this, and I'll show you another way, is you can actually go on to LM Studio, all right? And then once you're done, once this is finished downloading, so you can see it's already at 10% since we've been talking, we can just copy one of these terminal commands and then plug it into Alarma later. We'll come on to that in a second, all right? So you can also run this on LM Studio. Again, LM Studio is available to download. You can just download it like that. Click this. Download that bad boy. That's going to take a little while. Now, the other thing to note here as well is the LM Studio typically has a nicer, from what I remember, let's just open this up. So I've got LM Studio already set up and ready to go. Here we go. We can download GPT and that's how we get it on LM Studio as well, right? So whether you want it on a Llama or LM Studio, totally down to you. I think honestly, if you're a bit of a beginner or if you like a nice you, you're probably going to prefer LM Studio, to be honest with you. But we can download both, no props. Let's just open that, minimize that, put that on a new window as well. And then we can just see in the background, okay, where are we up to on both? All right, so we got LM Studio downloading here. We got Olama downloading here. We can just go off and do stuff in the background in the meantime, all right? Now, the other thing to note here is that we've got thinking models, right? So these are reasoning models. So that's pretty good as well because typically if you download a lightweight model, it's not going to have the thinking model. And also on a Llama as well, you're like GPT OS, DeepSeek R1, Gemma 3, Quen 3, Llama 3.1, etc. Pretty much every open source model that you can think of is over here as well. And then if we go over to Hugging Face as well, we've got this, as you can see. So this is all the details on this. And we can actually use the inference provider directly on Hugging Face if you want to get access to this. So let me just put the notes over here inside the AirProfit board room. If you want to get access to the notes, etc., just go to the SAP section and then GPT OS. So we can test out here. All right. So if you don't want to download it or if your laptop doesn't have the power to use the new open source model from GPT, but you want to use something for free, then you can do it using this method, right? So all you do is you just go on to Hugging Face, go to the GPT OS section, go to the inference provider section over here, and that way you can just get access to this stuff. Nice and simple, nice and easy, right? By the way, if you're watching it on Twitter, I'm just going to add the links you can get access to everything. All right, so let's get back to this. This is 56% done. We're at 4%. LM Studio is way slower. Maybe it's because I started downloading from Alama first. But yeah, you can see we're good to go on that. We've got some examples here, so we can actually run through some examples of how it works, etc. And also bear in mind here, this is primarily designed for text generation, right? So I don't think it's going to generate images for you and that sort of thing, but it will generate text. And then let's have a look at the details on this. So it says... Welcome to the OS series, designed for powerful reasoning. We're releasing two flavors of the models. And the model that we're using over here, let's have a look what we got. Yeah, this is 120B. So this is the most powerful version that you can preview on Hugging Face. And also, this is interesting as well. So, you know, in terms of the Apache 2.0 license, some people will be wondering, okay, what that is or how it works, etc. So essentially, the Apache license means that you can build freely without copyleft restrictions or patent risk. Right, so it's good for like experimentation, customization, etc. You can configure the reasoning effort as well. So you've got low, medium, and high. Full chain of thought, which is great. So that's great for reasoning. You can also fine tune it as well based on the parameters. And it has agentic capabilities. And yeah, that's basically how it goes step by step. And I think LM Studio is just broken on me, if I'm not mistaken. And we've had an, oh, we've had an error. That's why I've run out of space. All right. 
Bear with me, I'll just make some space on the old laptop. There we go. We're back in the game. It's retrying now. So let's test the strawberry test on this as well. So inside the chat here, we're going to say how many hours in strawberry. Just to test this reasoning capability. So if we zoom in here, we've got the chat on the right hand side. So it says the word strawberry contains three hours. One, two, three. There we go. So the reasoning is not bad, right? It's better than previous versions of chat GPT that were actually paid, which is great. Let's test something else out now whilst we're waiting for the download of our llama. So if we go on to an example I use for SEO, we'll take this and see if it's any good at right super fast. It's crazy fast online. We'll take that and we'll put the keyword as SEO training Japan, just as an example. So we're going to plug that in. Quite a long prompt as well. And you can see how fast it replies, right? That's pretty crazy. Let's have a look at the quality of the content. Hi, I'm Julian Goldie, founder of blah, blah, blah. AI SEO nerd. Sounds about right. If you're searching for SEO training in Japan, you're probably wondering why a UK based trainer even cares about the Japanese market. Content is quite, it feels quite human. To be fair, it's not that bad. Not as bad as I was expecting. I would still use Claude, obviously, but for writing content, not bad at all. Really fast to respond. Let's have a look through the white paper as well. See if there's anything interesting in here. So these are some of the benchmarks, etc. What blows my mind is that if you look at the AIM competition math, one of the most powerful models, it's right up there. We've, which is pretty amazing. It doesn't perform so well with PhD science questions if you use 20B, but 120B is not bad. Expert level questions, it really falls behind there, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll ask ChatGPT for the 8020. There's something to bear in mind here in terms of limitations, more hallucinations than 04 mini. We matches or beats 04 mini on coding and reasoning and approaches 03 on health. 20B bunches above its size. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's do that. We'll put those inside the notes. Alarma is nearly done. Better mass says, please, just a philosophic question. Do you think that we will reach the AI degree level of the matrix saga faster than expected? I don't know. I don't have this the theory that experts actually predict worse than layman's. And the reason for that is like they're usually they're overconfident and no one knows the future. Personally, if I had to predict, do I think we're going to be plugged into machines like the Matrix and learning Kung Fu? I doubt it. I doubt it. But I do think like the world is going to look very different. We'll give it 10 or 20 years. If you go back 10 or 20 years ago now, even, I think we're the first generation where you can actually say to us, if you went back in time to your previous self, you could say to us, and show us the technology we have. And we would say it's magic, right? If you showed an iPhone, if you showed the power of the internet, if you showed, for example, the power of AI and how you can run it offline and create images and videos and whatever. If you went back to your former self 20 years ago or 25 years ago, we would genuinely say that's magic. So the world will look totally different. And I think that cycle is just speeding up faster and faster. So without going off on a crazy tangent, let's get back up. Nearly, we're so close, people. We're so close. If you stayed on, you're an absolute legend. Absolute legend for watching this far. Pew says M3 Pro question mark. Yeah, that's it. We're going to test this on M3 Pro. And just bear in mind as well, you can get access to this on Hugging Face, VLLM, Llama.cpp, LM Studio, AWS, Fireworks Together AI, and a few others too, including Vercel and Cloudflare. And Open Router. Interesting. Ah, oh, look at that. You can get access to it on Open Router. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can actually code with that on Visual Studio Code. Just bear in mind it is paid there. You can see that's a paid model for 120B. So if you don't host it locally, that's another option as well. But just bear in mind it's going to be paid if you want to get it from Open Router. So I think we're good to go now. We can test it out. But let's just test if it works. I'm running this on an M3 Pro. Let's see if it can actually handle running this locally. It is super. I think you're better off if you want to use it online for free. You might be better off just using Hugging Face unless you've got a super powerful laptop. Bear in mind, I am streaming at the minute as well, so that probably doesn't help. I'm actually going to cancel that because it took so long. And I could see my laptop was lagging during the live stream. So honestly, like that is way, way too big to run on the laptop. You can see how slow it was responding. It broke a little bit. I had to cancel the response. So if you're on an M3 Pro like me, or you're on something less powerful than that, this probably isn't the best model for you. You'd be better off just using the Hugging Face link that I gave you before this one, and just using that directly instead. So I'm going to X off here. We'll quit Alarma as well, because that was slowing my laptop down like crazy. All right, so let's try another method. What we can also do is we can run this. I think we could probably run it with Client as well if we test this out. So let's go to Client, Settings, Allow open router got my api key plugged in there and then let's see if we can find oss on here so we've got 120b and 20b let's try 120b just for fuck off that and then we should be able to code with that directly so if we just say something like this hit plan go ahead with that let's see what we get and that is struggling with the api streaming interesting let's just try it on 
root code as well. Why is client reset the API saying that's weird? Okay, that getting the server error for now as well. So that's not working so well. I said server had an error whilst processing your request. So I think out of everything that we've tested today, if you want to get access to it, just go to Hugging Face or just wait for Open Router to, to work. You could also, for example, try running the lightweight version as well. But let's test this out. So I'm going to say, are you working inside the Open Router chat? See if it works there. So it actually works perfectly inside the chat, not on, on client directly. So if you want to use this, maybe use the chat, but it's going to be paid inside Open Router. So probably your best off just using that Hugging Face link. Let's try something else now as well. See if we can run the more lightweight coding one. And free media tool says, sir, according to your experience, what's the best model for coding? Just name one. So I think if I had to pick one out of everything, I'd probably go with, I would say, I think Gemini is pretty, but Gemini is probably the best. Or you can use Claude Opus as well. Claude Opus is very powerful. But if you're coding with it using the API, then it's going to cost a fair amount. It's quite expensive to use Opus. So let's test this out now as well. We're trying to use the 20B model, see if that works better. So go back into terminal, just make sure you have Olama running as well in the background. So you can see we've got Olama going there and then we can use 20B inside the UI. We'll run that as a test. This is a lightweight model, by the way, this is not even the most powerful one. And you can see it's still thinking there. Yeah, I'm going to shut it down. It's too slow. How are you going to run that? So that's it basically peeps. Now, if, so if you want to get access to all the resources from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Just go to the SAP section. You can see all the latest updates. We actually added a bunch of AI Asian templates here as well. Tons of stuff on DeepThink, Lovable, Quen3, etc. And this community comes with an awesome bunch of people. There's 1,100 members inside here. We actually just added a week two masterclass as well. Very active community. So for example, you see this post was added just 15 hours ago. It's already got eight comments on it and 13 likes. And if you have any questions or that sort of thing, you can post inside the community. We also take requests. So if you have AI automation requests, usually what we'll do is we'll show you exactly how to build it step by step, exactly what to do, how to do it. It comes with all of my best trainings, templates, workflows, including, for example, how to automate your business, my best AI agents. On top of that, all my social media video automations, email content automations, loads of NA10 templates. If you want to start an AI automation agency, we have a step by step course on that. We also have, for example, a YouTube course that shows you exactly how I reach millions of people with YouTube using AI each month, right? So you can see this step-by-step -step six week roadmap inside the YouTube AI section that shows you exactly how to automate your own channel and make money with it and that sort of thing, right? Inside the calendar, we have five calls per week. So you can jump on the weekly live calls, ask any questions you have, your master classes, jump on the weekly Q&A. And that is an amazing community where we're all just growing and learning together and sharing the wins together as well. The other thing I would say about this, if you look at all the posts is like, it's just a super positive, lots of good vibes in there, lots of friendly people, lots of great people to meet. And that's the goal of this really is to all grow, learn and work together. So feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments and description. And if you like Julian, mate, Julian, I love all this stuff. I don't have time. I'm running the seven figure, maybe an eight figure business, etc. Then feel free to book in an AI automation session. And on that call, we can basically look at where you're spending your time, and then how can you save time by building the right AI automations and how to build those automations. And then once you become a client, we'll just implement it for you, right? So if you want to get a custom quote for that directly on the call, feel free to book in a call. Also, if you're watching and you have any AI tools that you want to promote as well, you can book in the call here and get a custom quote for a sponsored video on top of that on YouTube. But additionally, like if you just want us to do everything for you, this is probably the best way to do it, right? Book in an AI automation session, link in the comments description, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, peeps.